Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome to another episode of Playing Games with Strangers. Uh, Real quick before we get started, I wanted to acknowledge the passing of two important people of my creative upbringing um, that happened both today as when we were recording this. Uh, First, uh, the singer Meatloaf, who taught me how to respect and appreciate long form music in rock and Louis Anderson who showed me that you can entertain people without uh, without being R-rated so just wanted to start out with a quick moment of silence and then we'll dive right in okay so not trying to buzz kill the mood, but really wanted just to acknowledge we that. We just wanted to prep people as, for the death that is imminent for yeah, us. There, there's a... Uh, tonight's going to be an episode. <laughs> uh, Meatloaf taught me that I would do anything for love, but I won't do oh, that. Oh, of course you would make the joke, Eric. Stumblefoot. happens to be the... Which happens to be a reference in the next Mark episode. That's so, true. I believe, yeah. I believe it's the title of the Mark episode. Yeah. Oh, yeah. really? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> All right. So uh, first up to bat, we have merch updates. Mr. Clements. Yeah. We gives the rundown. We recently launched actual character stickers using Dan Strada's amazing art. So you can go buy those individually, collect them all like the Pokemon. <laughs> Uh, That is currently the most recent thing that we've got up at the store. Uh, Don't forget that there is a new ampersand shirt with Stumblefoot's name added to the roster. Uh, So, yay. And I don't whether or not that's whether or not that ampersand shirt stays relevant past tonight (laughs) is to remain to be seen. Hey, Callum stayed on it for quite a while. It's true. Poo. And that's it. (laughs) <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it's just, just a bunch of crossed out names as characters yeah. die. <laughs> we'll make another one where uh, it's just take, upside down. <laughs> take notes, Dave. Uh, you know, just no. That's as my job. Characters die. Just put a put a <laughs> no. Put a mark in them for those we watching. Can't read all right, it, it's all right. All right. Next up, Patreon announcements. Do we have any new announcements for Patreon Celeste? We have opened up our Discord for our patrons. What? Uh. So if you are a patron, you not only have access to all the amazing things that you already have access to, you have access to us directly. 24-7. Except for me, because I'm never on. Exactly. That's (laughs) That's okay. okay. Neither is JS or Steve, so. You just get to see me ramble. 24-7. 24-7. <laughs> Which is why I'm not Basically. on anymore. No. <laughs> you get you get to watch you get to watch us. You get to watch uh Dave, Celeste, Squid, and I just chat all day long during the workday. Yes, as we avoid working. Yes. Yeah. I hope none I'm of my totally employers worsted. listen to this podcast. <laughs> I would be shocked if any of my employers listen to this podcast. I would too. All right. Well, Pooh Boy Crandall, That's I think me. we're up to your segment of the show. Oh, this is the oh, best shoot. part. <clears throat> All right. And now for our theme song. Playing games with strangers. You know there's no danger. So come on in. We're our friends. Playing games with strangers. prepared for my job <laughs> hang on uh meanwhile while while squid pulls up her notes uh i'd like to go on record as saying i am running the game this week with covid i have tested positive um i'm over i'm over the hill of it i'm actually getting better but if i sniff or snort or hack up an oyster on my microphone 
Uh, please understand that I could not make it to my mute button in time. So please. Bear so with we're me. recording again, playing games with COVID. You like really? We were, yeah. Except unless now, you're in the, like the now thick I'm the one of it. it. Like if you're, if you're not in the thick of it, man, are you really playing with COVID? I think not into the thick of it. <laughs> All right. Callum squid. Yeah. 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 My dude. Give us, give us the rundown. Right. So it was a rip roar and good time last time. Uh, I had a lovely dream that turned into a really, really bad reality, which is kind of just my life lately. Um, I tied up Aileen, tried to give her away to Zeus, which sounds maybe like something I do. I don't know. And then a uh, challenger appeared. It was Gareth, uh, which was surprising. Uh, and it was even more surprising when he scared me half to death. But I'm already dead, so it's fine. Um, he also scared Christopher, who is also dead, so I guess it's fine. Would you say that he scared you half to life? <laughs> Get out of my Maybe. Head, I don't know. Wouldn't know the feeling. <laughs> uh, I can't feel anything anymore. Uh, uh, so then, Stumblefoot and Gareth argued a little bit. Uh, we all went to sleep, uh, even though we probably should have finished talking about everything that happened. So then we woke up and decided not to talk about anything that happened. Um, I found out I have a new curse, which is fun and exciting. And we went into the cave, into the thick of it, as it were. I saw a bunch of mushrooms. That was nice and exciting. Uh, And then we found a really, really hot room. And not like, ooh, that's hot. But like, that was very warm. Um, And it was hell. So, makes sense. Um... And then, can I point out that we went to sleep because yeah. Christopher magically well, yeah. compelled also, us? Well, yeah. Also, Christopher to go to sleep? has uh, magic powers. I forgot to mention. Um, so uh, completely, for reasons that I can't begin to understand, the only voice of reason that we have decided to leave most of us alone, um, and left to explore some doors, <laughs> thereby, despite giving me very explicit instructions not to do what I. 100% did I did it um, and me and Wilder have gone off into hell uh, to seek out Carrick and Zeus also Aileen might also be dead now we're not sure there you go okay so we are going to pick up with Aileen oh good I wasn't expecting to get to talk for a while mm, no you're gonna talk right away um, you just find yourself in complete darkness and and uh, you feel incomplete and like you are slipping away into nothingness. But you hear a familiar voice saying, Don't worry. Um I, I, I think I can fix this. Rahu. Yeah. What's ha- what's happened? Um well, you know your friend Callum? Yes. He tried to give you to uh Zeus? Sounds legit. Okay, um, but during the handoff, Zeus took a piece of your soul, and your soul is collapsing. How how does that that work? How how can you fix that? Well, I mean, do we have some duct tape? Um, it it, was like this. The soul is comprised of many parts, um, and the part he took was your spark of life. Oh. Um... And that would normally be bad news. Like you're probably would are you're you're dying right now. Like, is what this is. Not who I thought I'd be talking to when I died. But no, okay. no, no. When I say dying, I mean your soul's dying. Like you are slipping into oblivion. Oh, uh, okay. Rahu, how are we fixing this? Um. Well, as it turns out, you need you need uh, divine. You need divine power to create life, right? Yes. And I'm sworn to, I swore myself to protect you along, you know, about a couple years ago, right? Right. That's why you are living in my nose. And I'm, com- I am made of completely divine power. Are you now? So basically, I, I, I live to serve my queen and she willed me to protect you. So I, my non-existence is to serve her going forward so just just know i'm not your friend and you watch him 
basically wrap him his arms around you and basically absorb himself into you. Rahu? R- Rahu, what do you mean you're not my friend? You've been living in my nose. Rahu? Well, heck. And as you say, well, heck, you your eyes open and it, you are inside an extravagant mansion with spectral servants all around. And Christopher's there, and there's a giant banquet on a table, and you're kind of laying on a couch off to us off in a side room. And Christopher's just sitting there noshing on food, hanging out, chatting with the spectral staff. Christopher, where are we, dear? Yeah. Oh, oh um, this is my mansion. This is your mansion. This is, this is, this is, this is my mansion. Where did you get this mansion? I made it. Really? Mm-hmm. Well. You want some food? L- let me let me sit on that for a minute. Hang you on. You slept for a long time, so I'm sure in just a second I will be hungry. Um, where did the ghost servants come from? I made them. They come with the mansion. Oh, well, that's nice. Uh, where's everybody else? They went into the cave. Into the cave. Are into- we still by the cave? Yeah. We're just inside the house. Okay. Um, in a manner of speaking. What do you mean in a manner of speaking? Technically, this house is not even on the same plane of existence. Okay. But if I was to walk out the door, I would be by the cave? Yeah. Okay. Close enough. So, well, did you make the food or did the ghosts? They made it. Is it ghost food? No, it's food. Okay. Well, what you got? And there's a giant smorgasbord laid out in front of you. They can pretty pretty much uh, make anything you want. Just let them know. Oh, thank you. How come the rest of the party left us here? She says as she's loading up a plate. Um, to follow the man in yellow. Oh, the man in yellow. Okay. He was wearing a mask. He he came to the camp, and I guess that's what they said. And then they said they wanted to go to sleep, so he we went to sleep. I guess that was a big deal. Oh, and there was a uh, there was a a, a dragonborn that came. Apparently, someone you guys know. Oh, did you get to meet Gareth? Yeah, he scared me. Oh, no. Why did he scare you? I don't know. He scared Callum, too. Well, that's not surprise. Oh, that does make sense, doesn't it? Okay. Well, oh, I, w- want- I was I was supposed to tell them just a second. And you see him kind of make a gesture and kind of mutter something. Um, it's like, all right, stum- well- stumble foot. Just so you know, uh, you get a message from Christopher saying, um, Aileen woke up, so I don't know what to tell her. Tell her that we went into the cave and we found a door and the door leads to hell. Um, Stumblefoot, who who are you talking to? Um, He said, uh, so Stumblefoot says that they went in the cave and they found a door and the door leads to hell. Oh, well then. That that little cave system's just a regular highway, isn't it? Should we go and help them? They told me I have to stay out here. Uh-huh. Did they say I had to stay out here? I no. Okay. Well, I'm going to go into the cave to find them. Why don't you work on making a peanut butter pie? See if your your spectrals can do that. I think that as you Wilder, as you were talking, one walks up to you and hands you a peanut butter pie. Well, that was fast. Yeah, they they make it by magic. Oh, well then, why don't you go put this in the fridge and get some rooms ready for everybody? And I'm gonna go get them so we can all have a good night's rest in here. Okay. Oh no, it, it won't be the same when you come back. It's a, it's uh, it only lasts for 24 hours, and then I have to make another one. Oh. Okay, well, are you planning on staying in this general area? I can. Okay, you do that. That way we can find you, okay? Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to go into the cave now, so I'll see you later. I'm going to head towards the door. Okay. You step out the door and you get that weird feeling like you do when you go through uh, one of the portals at Pete's Portals. And you step out on the other side, and when you turn to look behind you, you see a door just standing in the air. Well, that's handy. What else do I see around me? Just a- everything as you last remembered it. I'm gonna head to the the and cave. You hear you hear Christopher behind you as you're 
walking towards the cave. He goes, I really like the streak. And the he, streak? Closes, he closes the door. The streak? Well, strange child. Okay. Off we go. Stumblefoot, who, who, who are you talking to? Hello? Can you, can you hear me, Stumblefoot? I wasn't a talking. But, but your lips were moving a second ago, like you were talking to someone. I received a message from Christopher, and I replied in my mind. You can hear my no, thoughts. No, but your lips, they were like moving. You, do you, no, they you weren't. Want? No. Hmm. Well, that's a bummer. Uh, Christopher sent a message, though. Oh, yeah. And apparently Aileen's awake. So I let her know that um, we found a door in the cave, and the door leads to and hell. we found another cave that leads to somewhere else. I didn't tell her about that oh, one. A good thing. It, it took a while to get there. Aye. So, um, the others, they kind of uh, left us here. Aye, Callum and, and Wilder. They just left when I told them not to left, and they left anyway. So, I'm, I'm going to uh, default to you on this one, Stumblefoot, because I haven't been known for making the best decisions in the past. Um, but uh, should we go after them? I think we should, but uh, maybe we should wait here for Aileen. But, but she's supposed to stay with Christopher. Keep her safe. Well, I'm going to go out on a limb here and guess that um, this group of people, being what they are, uh, and that they don't really follow directions very well, Aileen will probably be thinking that she needs to join us. Um, so I think if we wait so here, she'll probably catch up. You're saying she's just going to walk down that... That the cave entrance magically and she'll be here. That's what you're saying? I'm thinking she might find her way through the cave to the door and walk through the door um, when she does not see us. So if we wait here, then, you know, she'll just show up right behind us and then we'll have as few a people separated from the party as possible. Well, that seems unlikely. How far into the cave are well, they, John? They're quite The good ways. news is Wilder and Callum at least have each other. Um, and I don't think that letting Aileen wander around um, this particular plane of hell by herself is a great idea. Maybe we should go towards the main entrance and meet her. Maybe we should wait here, where we are, because we know the door opens up to right here, and then she'll be able to easily find us. Okay. I just, there were three different cave things. So... I wanted her to choose the right one. Well, I can send her a message and give her more specific instructions than what I gave her. All right. Well, I do wonder how Callum and Wilder are doing in hell. I wonder as well, and I'm sure that we'll find out as soon as we find them. And if they're not already dead, I might kill them myself. Uh, don't do that, please. Losing patience with this particular group of people. In the words... Of Brother Pan, um, he always said that you should, um, wait for it, um, a patience is, uh, mm, uh, uh, I forget what it was, but it was good. He had a good saying about that. Mm hmm I'm sure it was. Hey, that sounds it, like it was just brimming with wisdom. So, back to, uh, Aileen, you walk amongst the mindless undead bugbears and as you step in as you step towards the cave you notice something what do I notice you notice you can see really far into it now oh, yeah. apparently that that sleep helped my my vision but as you are stepping into what you know is inky black darkness you also feel a compulsion to enter into the darkness like into the darkness as if it was a thing itself Hmm, this is interesting. So I'm going to step closer to the darkness. Are you going to step into it as your compulsion, as you feel compelled? If if that is a possibility, yes. So you step into it, and it's almost like you step through it, and faster than your mind can comprehend, you step almost out the out of a side of it, much further down the tunnel. Oh, well, that's helpful. You basically step from the entrance all the way to the first bend where you guys were dealing with the uh, organ crab. Do I see a door? You do not. 
but you okay. do see that the tunnel goes further down. I'm going to go in back into the darkness, see wh- where else I can go. So over the process of time, you took what uh, took several hours. You d- made a journey that took the other team several hours and under a half hour. And you come into uh, a set of a set of ha- uh, hallways. I believe there was three of them, if I remember right. Okay. Well, can I deduce anything from it if I roll a perception? Or what else would that be? Uh, Investigation. Are you trying to track them? Sure. Uh, Make a survival check. Eric, you have your hand up. What's up? I did declare my intent to cast sending and send Aileen a message with instructions. Did you? I did. Okay. Okay, so as you pop out in front of these three hallways, you get a, you hear Stumblefoot's voice saying, Aileen, as you make your way through the caves, you're going to reach a point where there's three tunnels. Take the center tunnel and go through the door. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, um, So I will go through the center tunnel. Go ahead, Josiah, because I know your head will explode. No. Oh, I'm, Go ahead. Pretty, I'm pretty sure your lips do move when you do that, Stumblefoot. I was looking really closely this time. I, I, oh. no. Stumblefoot's this I guy was, that I doesn't was, know he thinks I out just, loud. I just, I, I just cast the spell and then think the message out I to think her. you said something about turkey. As you're, a, you're an odd fella. As he I says turkey, you fella. hear the door open behind you. I will turn and look. You turn and look and realizing it's only been a half hour since your initial your initial uh, message that you received about Aileen waking up. Uh, suddenly there's Aileen. Hello, boys. Oh, a- a- Aileen. Oh, well, that wasn't very long at all. And you... Oh, you make good time through that cave. You guys also notice that she has a long black streak through her bangs. Like down the side of her. Do face, I notice in her let's, in her hair? Let's see if I notice. Going through. You had time to get your hair done as well. I'm sorry. Well, you've got a long black streak in your hair now. Is that different? Hey, that's new. Oh, well, it looks very uh, nice. Aileen's gonna try and look at her hair. Oh, um, I, I've got a uh, oh uh, no, um, it's uh, nope, I don't have anything reflective. Here. As I recall, Orbog, you are there with Stumblefoot and uh, Pooh as well. So, o- Orbog, so is Gareth, right? So is so Gareth. is Gareth. I know. Uh, no. Orbog, uh, but bring your axe here. W- what do you want with Rose? Oh, just here. Here, look at this. Look in this shiny part here. What about Gareth's breastplate? That would work too. Well, yes, that's a little less sharp. Is it's Gareth kind of- there? Yeah, you're the, you're here yeah, with let's- this. Okay. Yeah. Let's definitely get the, the not sharpness away from my face. Right. Good thinking. Oh, well, apparently I'm going through an emotional stage with my hair. This is probably Rahu's fault, but that's okay. There's worse things. Uh, you also, Aileen, being as you would know, you also notice that you have dark eyeliner around your eyes now, too. I really am turning goth. But you, you remind me a little bit of Callum. It, it looks really good. I've heard that females like you to notice when they do something, and I, I like this whole this whole thing you got going on. Well, thank you, Orbog. Now, what's going on? What's the plan? What are we doing, boys? Well, and who and I were too? scouting out one of the other tunnels, and uh, the group was waiting by that door you just went through, and I tell them to wait, and Wilder and Callum didn't await. And they went through the door without us. So, um, I guess we're going to chase after them. We're not really sure where they're at. Uh, but I have a feeling they probably went that way. I'm going to point towards the tower off in the distance. Uh, it's at this point, Aileen, you realize exactly how hot it is here. And you look up and you see across kind of like a barren plain, uh, there's a city, and in the middle of this city is a giant iron spire. Does this remind me of my dream? Yes. Okay. 
goodness, I should hope so. <laughs> well, I think we probably do need to head that way, but we need to be careful. I've been here before in my dreams. You've been here in your dreams? Oh, that sounds more like uh, well, a nightmare than dreams. Yes. Well, the keeper the was... The dream written. that you told us about when you were following the keeper? Yes. Oh, well... So perhaps we can get to the room with, with the souls. Right, well, uh, maybe we should follow you. Seems like perhaps uh, you might know the way better than we do. I mean, it's it's straight ahead, so onward. Right. Right, well, I guess we should get walking. Keep walking. <laughs> Keep All right. Orbog, hey, there's a new city over there. Perhaps you could run for mayor of that place, too. No, I, I just want to take care of the one that you abandoned. Oh. Right. <laughs> Abandoned to help you and your friends. As the city so, goes to hell. So Actually, savage. I think I think we were the ones that nope, did that. Just the mayor. <laughs> right. Um, alright. Uh Wilder. Yes. You come to as you are laying on the ground inside an iron cage, and Callum's there as well. And it is very hot. And there is a constant smell of sulfur on the air. Hey, uh, uh, Callum, is Poo here? No. Uh, were, what, were you expecting Poo to be here? Oh, well, uh, that's, I believe, just, you know, the environment. Where are we? Uh, best guess would be, um, a cell of some kind. I'll say that now. Mm-hmm. I'm glad you've caught up. And how, how did we get here? Uh, well, there was a large thing, uh, you know, not quite sure what it was, quite big, um, brought us here uh, right. when I was like, hey, let's go see Zeus or, you know, the other guy who I'm not going to say the name of. Mm, right. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, I, I thought I thought he didn't want me to come with you. Oh, um, yeah. Well, I was like, he should come with or I'm not going. Um and then he went, well, all right, and then knocked you out, and here we are. Okay. I'm gonna inspect the cell to see if there's some kind of a locking mechanism on it. Um, yeah. There, you, uh, after some inspection, you do find a very, a very, uh, complicated looking lock on the, uh, door of this cell that you're in. It's almost like the cells in hell weren't designed to be gotten out of. Does, does it seem magical or just, like, very difficult to get out of? Did you want to roll a investigation check on that? Sure, I can roll some investigation on this magic. <laughs> well, well, I mean, just... You know what? Fine. Roll an arcana check if you want to be a big jerk about it. <laughs> Doesn't matter. My modifier is zero to both, so... Ten. <laughs> I'll roll an investigation check. You can roll an arcana too, Dave. <laughs> I was being generous, but... Uh, My, it, wow. it, I, I am not a smart boy, so <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> what was that, Dave? Uh, My Arcana was a 15. You got a 15? Uh, yeah, you get... You get you, you're you picking up some dank Arcana coming off of that. Hmm. Well, this one appears to be a little outside my skill set. Shoot. I'm very good at shooting, but I don't think that'll help us here. I don't think so. Um, you know, I, I really expected I, this to go faster. Um, right. Uh, sorry, this this is weird. And I turned my back to Callum. Hey, uh, is there any way you could like help me, help me us get out of here? Oh, you're asking for favors again. I thought we weren't legitimately married. Oh no 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 no. I've uh, I I did admit we were an item. Hey hey pair. Wilder, is that her? Can you hear her? Is she talking to you? Yes. 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 We're talking, discussing, uh, she doesn't feel like I'm like totally into this relationship, but it's really Stumblefoot's fault. He's kind of put a little bit of doubt in my mind. Uh, so oh, he seems good at that. I think, I think if, she, can she hear me? Can, can she hear me? Can You can hear Callum, right? I mean, I can hear Callum. You can hear Callum. That's how this works, right? No response. Apparently, maybe. I, I, she didn't answer. Well, uh, just tell her that I think she's really cool. So, Callum thinks you're great. I I also think you're great. Stumblefoot is maybe not. Maybe I should have. Maybe I should have married Callum. Then is that what you're trying to tell me? 
would mean, Callum acknowledge a relationship with me? Not really. I mean, I, Wilder covers his mouth. I mean, he's kind of got daddy issues, so I don't know that a marriage would be like a good thing for him. But, uh, but I mean, I, I'm I, just give me a chance. I mean, it's was it's it, been a day. It's that was it's a natural twenty perception, Jake. <laughs> yeah, you're hearing all of this. It was one day. You, give me a chance. It it takes me a little bit of time to warm up to new people, and you're very new. And this is a very uh, uh, a quick commitment for me, which is difficult. So you be patient with me. I'll be patient with you. Right? Love. Mm, love. I'll take it under consideration. Let me sleep on it. Okay. Um. So you're not helping us get out. We're just gonna sit here. I said I'd think about it. Okay. You know what? You take time for yourself. We're Callum, we're gonna sit here. Uh she's thinking about it. So uh I have a deck of cards, I think. I think. Uh I mean I that yeah, I don't yeah, I kinda of thought that they would, you know, react a little more than just sticking us in a cage and waiting, but demons, I guess, you know? Devils I don't really All know. Surprise. Which ones are in the hills? Are they the same? I don't, I don't understand. I, I'm not good with geography. I not don't either. Actually I'm really good with geography. Not good with theology. So same difference to me. Difference. I'd Theologies. be happy to play cards. Uh, sure. Yeah. Uh All right. Now as you get out to and get out your cards and start shuffling, we go back to our other slightly more enabled group as you are approaching the city of Dis. New phone, who Dis? Do they have tracks? Oh, bug, are, are you talking There to- are tracks all over the place. Oh, bug, are you are you talking to Aileen? Your lips were moving just then. Yeah, I was I was seeing if Yeah, I was thinking that's amazing you can hear my thoughts too. I just noticed that Stumblefoot does this thing and his lips move while he's he's I, talking in I know. I know. You know. Yeah, it's it's a disorder. Oh, well. What are you two talking about back What there? about you a disorder? <laughs> oh, nothing. Um, uh, just talking about the weather. It's very, very uh, humid in here. It's, it's not, my fur is a little uh, matted. It's kind of. Yeah, yeah it's hot, hot, hot. <laughs> uh, well, I think the general state of um, the weather here is hot. With a hundred percent chance of hot. That's, that's very oh, mayoral of you. Very. Uh, you know, uh, St- Stumblefoot, uh, Nareth, Um, I was wondering if you if you knew anything about um this place. It's very um. Well, I mean, it's very uh, religious. You know, yes. Anti-religiousy. Well, unless they worship, then that's religious. Is is there anything we should know about um? getting in here, you know, to, to look out for. I'll take that as a no, or a yes. Actually, you know what? I just remembered. Uh, a man who masters patience masters everything else. That was the quote uh, from Brother Pan. What quote? From, from Brother Pan. It was earlier. You you had to be there. I mean, you. Okay. Yes. So I will be patient and wait for I am answer. intrigued, though. Gareth, do you know anything about this area? No, I've never been here. Well, well, I figured that you hadn't, but uh, didn't know if you had studied anything. My studies were more uh, geared towards earthly things instead of uh, otherworldly. Well, you are ever the practical one. Uh, thank you. Yeah, you, sh- you should probably be mayor, really. Oh, Bog, what is your fascination with being mayor? I just, I, I think it's good to be leadery, and um, <laughs> I don't, I don't like people that abandon their people. But some, but some people just can't help you? it. Some people are just losers, uh, no, and and no. and they just. Oh, bug! Let's yes. stumblefoot. I didn't abandon Waterdeep. I mean, there's plenty of other people in Waterdeep doing Waterdeepy things. He chose to come and help out his his friends, uh, us. So instead of abandoning us, he was with us. So, I, I I mean, I just feel like maybe we could change your perspective on on things a little bit. 
Thank you, Pooh. I appreciate that. Oh, you're welcome. Also, I, I look around. We'll, I, I just want to make sure nothing's like following us or looking at us funny. Um, you would you like to roll for that? I would. Why did it sound like you asked him if he wanted fries? <laughs> <laughs> it's because he got it all up in his mic. Would you like some fries? Uh, so, uh, as, as you guys, you, you guys are actually approaching the edge of the city at this point after that long conversation. Um, and yeah, the people who are on the outskirts of the city coming and going, they, they are kind of making eyes at you guys. Like it, it's pretty obvious. You guys don't belong here. What do the people in the city look like? Uh, demons and devils. And when you say making eyes, they're looking suspiciously at you. Some of them with look looking just with outright contempt. Otherwise, others looking at you with outright intent. One of these things is not like the other. I don't. I don't think they like us very much here. No. Um. Is there anything that Stumblefoot knows about this place? Uh. R- r- roll a religion check, and also roll a history check. Roll both. Yes, please. Okay. For my religion check, I rolled a 10. And for my history check, I rolled a 16. Um, religion check, uh, not so much. You 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 know the basics. This is the uh, second this is the second uh, layer of hell of the nine hells. Um, and okay. you're familiar with what the iron spires, you know, just the general surface level stuff about the city of this. Uh, but on your history okay. check, you do know that demons and devils should not be in the same place. This is very, this does not bode well. Okay. Very quietly, I'm going to kind of motion the group in um, to kind of like circle up and I'm going to let them know. A group hug. Something very strange is going on here. See that creature there? That's a devil. Right. And I'm going to point to a devil walking by and then I'll find another one that's a demon that's walking by see that there that's a demon demons typically stay in the abyss they're not in the nine hills the fact that there's demons and devils here together and they're not fighting that's that's out of the ordinary that's very 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 strange and very 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 bad they shouldn't be getting along it's a good example for you to take note of of how to bring people together oh bog you are not helping right now I'm taking him to church. No. No, I don't think you are. Okay. Well, there's nothing really we can do about that. I think when we leave here, we should leave Orbog here. You're assuming that any of us are leaving here. Now let's go. Let's just put it out there. That's all. I can Be I can walking. hear your thoughts. What are you guys That's what are you guys doing? Speaking about loud. Um we're walking. We'll just keep keep in a closer group though, I think. I'll try to stay closer to everyone as we walk. Oh, I was going to say we it. should all just split up in different directions. Please <laughs> don't. Well, and, and, and uh, actually, we're going to have a TPK <laughs> tonight, everybody. Actually, as we uh, as we as we kind of go through, I want to pick out a friendly-ish looking face. That would be <laughs> me, dear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The only friendly faces are the three that are closest to you. <laughs> one that's not looking with outright four. One Eric, one that's four. not looking in outright contempt. Stumblefoot doesn't look friendly. That's <laughs> <laughs> duly noted, and um, and also correct. Uh, okay, Pooh, uh, make a uh, perception check to see if you can adequately find a friendly yeah. face. In yeah. Hell. That's, um, so, perception, that's going to be um, 10. And I know what I'm going to do here. I'm just trying to do it in a way where I won't get sued by the inspiration. You see a devil wearing a very fine suit, and he's got hair on top of his head that is very nicely slicked to the side. And when you look upon his face, he has two empty eye sockets, but a very big toothy grin. Oh, who uh, looks like somebody that would that could possibly be trusted? Uh, ex- excuse me, sir, with a big smile. Uh, hello. Um, you wouldn't happen to have seen a couple of uh, 
uh, people like us walking through here? Oh, people like us. Oh, that is just a darling. I mean, like, tallish. Darling proposition. You know, fleshy. Mm. Yes, fleshy. We we don't get a lot of fleshy down here, boy. Oh, yes, that's why. Tell I... me more about the people like us. Well, one of them is kind of, you know, um, mopey. And one of them's newly mm. married. So, um... See any of, were they married together? No, no. Would they like to be? I do have a church. Uh, no. Um, I, I believe one of them already is married, so that wouldn't work out very well. So. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you come with me and let me see if I can't help you? Nope. No. No. He'll come. He's gonna go with us. Pooh. No. Don't. Do not was, go I, I, with this person. I wasn't person. going. I was just asking if he saw anyone walking through. See him, so seen what you know. Did you see any bit people come through here before us? That's all. All I want to know. If not, a, a good day, sir. But uh, if so, thank you very much, sir. Well, I mean, I may be able to be of service. And and by service, you mean telling me if they came through here or not? Because that's all I want to know. Well, I mean. How would you describe them? Was there something specific about them I should know about? One of them's mostly undead, but partially re-dead. I don't know how it works exactly. Uh, one of them yeah, sometimes looks like a goat, but not recently. And he looks he's usually well-kept. He's got a nice, a nice suit thing going on. A nice suit thing. He's got a spider ring on his left hand. Well, that's oh, a, really? Yes. But how's he going to notice a guy walking through and just, like, looking? Do you look at someone's hands when they're walking? Anyway. Gareth does. <laughs> well, hmm. what about the other one that is not wearing the spider ring? Is there something I should know about them, perhaps? Uh, what race are these people? All I'm hearing is like us, but uh, I don't see a commonality of race amongst any of the four of you. He smells like a goat. Me? Smells like <laughs> smells like a goat. Uh, Wilder has not smelled like a goat in a very long time. I no, thought, but Callum yeah, has. Why does Callum, Callum smell like a goat? Because Callum has been cursed. Oh, oh dear. Cursed. Oh, are, are, you are, you, are you suggesting a Lamia curse? Uh, yes, uh, yes. Um, I... Oh, I'm afraid I cannot help you then. He is the property of somebody else. Uh, good day, gentlemen. Uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, oh, bother. Well... A goat, though, really? Yep. Yes. Uh, anytime you say a certain name, uh, Callum only hears goat noises. Oh. Yeah. Um, point of order, let's not say that name while right. we're here. That's Because we're in a place... Where that might have a wee bit more power than when we're at Notice, home. good, good call. That was good. We thinking. could say it backwards. Perhaps yeah. that would it's, be. It's a palindrome. <laughs> you cannot say it backwards. It's the same backwards as it is yeah, forwards. It's like Orbog's name. It's the same backwards as forwards, right? No, no, no. that's Orbog. not the same. No. Orbog backwards would be would be Dabro. <laughs> Yeah, that's the that's, that sounds about that's right. That's why I like <laughs> goblins. Gobro. Shall we keep moving forward? Um, yes, I, I suppose so. I think we should. This conversation got very stupid very, very quickly. quickly. <laughs> right. Well, we keep moving forward. Uh, I'll... But we could okay. we could um, say it in dwarven. No, no. Okay. Let's just all about. No. I hear that a lot. I, I don't understand. Perhaps if we said it, then Callum may hear it and react to it. And then perhaps he would be able to call to us or or something. I'm more concerned that if we say it, that the person who belongs to that particular moniker would show up here and um, that overall is a strategy for us dying. 
I, I don't know, because I think he's a lot more spiritual than you are. Oh, Bog, are you really... Gareth, or...? Gareth. Okay. I'm not sure what one has to do with the other, but okay. All right. Things we talk about while we walk. Meanwhile, back at the cage... Go fish. Uh, when they when they left us in here, did they give any... Do you know, did they give me, like, a wait time, a ticket number? Uh, <laughs> no. Any kind of insight into... How long it would be? Nope. Did I see where they went? Out. Have I heard any kind of anything? Like, you're inside, like, a building? Yes. And so, no, not since they went out of the I would never hear sounds inside a building. (laughs) It's almost like there wasn't anybody else inside the building. Uh, if Wilder looks out the bars, can he see anything around him? Walls. Can we put our hand through the bars? You can certainly try. I do. Uh, as uh, as you stick your hand through the bars, I had my dice on me here. Oh, I'm bored. Hello. <laughs> and give me a second. I don't have my dice, so I have to do this digitally. And ugh. no, but seriously, if you stick your arm through, I'll give you one of the gems I have in my pocket. Actually, better yet, I'll give you the coin that I stole from you. What? You Back. stole a coin from me. I was just borrowing it for a circumstance like this. You were stealing a coin from me to pay back to me at some point. Seems fun. Yes, it's a fun logic. game. I, hmm, I stick my hand through. Are you sticking your hand? <laughs> yeah. through? Of course uh, I am. As you stick your hand through the bar, your arm catches fire. Oh, well, that's new. And you take seven points of fire damage. I will use. And you're currently on fire. I will. I will use uh, the spell I've never had to use the entire campaign. And I'll use Absorb Elements. Okay, what does that do? Uh, it gives me resistance to the damage type, fire. Uh, and okay. then I could smack Wilder with a weapon if I wanted and give him that damage type, but I'll refrain for now. And then I will stop, drop, and roll. All right. I am I am so sorry. I had no idea it was going to do that, but it's good to know that it does do that, right? Yeah, do you think? So, all right. I, you know... Now that my... I'm not on fire anymore, right? I put it out. <laughs> no, you put it right, out. I'm going to try and I'm going to take out my sword and stick it through. See if it catches fire. Uh, you're, as you stick your sword through, it starts to glow red hot. But it can like go through? Yeah. I mean, it's not a force field. It's just... What do you want to bet that door over there is unlocked? That was a question. You don't, you don't have to answer, I guess. I'll talk to myself. <laughs> you mean the cell door? Well, you know, no, like my this love. room... Oh, hold on, hold on, Callum. Uh, yes, lol. I think I have come to a decision. Okay. I will help you, but you must declare your love for me to the entire plane that you are on loudly mm. and mean it. Wow, you've definitely uh, kicked our relationship up a notch. I mean, one day in. Uh, I mean, I'm still trying to get used to, uh, I don't, I, do I have to do it like right now? I mean, cause we're kind of stuck in. Squid, plug your ears for a second. As you are starting to quibble, you see a swarm of black spiders coming up from out of the ground and begin to swarm all over you. Okay. No, 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 no. Um, okay, fine, fine. I, I have to get out of here first and, and, and then I can do it. All right. Um, they can they continue to swarm and they start taking start biting little chunks. Ow. Hey, hey, d- are you not listening to what I what I said? I mean, I'm I'm trying. I'm I'm stuck here. I can't do anything. And and stop it. Stop. 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 I, I've got to get out of here first, and I don't know how to get out of here. It, it, it's it's a magic Say door. Say it. Uh, but um, hmm. okay, Loth, I. Adore you. I love Louder. you. Louder. Lolf, I love you, and I adore you, and I am yours forever. And as you say that, the door pops open. Ugh. That looked enjoyable for everyone. <laughs> did Sorry, I, Callum? did I, from anything, did I witness anything happening from where I'm watching? <laughs> just a lot of the nightmare door. fuel that you probably don't want to hear about as squid. But, but Wilder just seemed unchanged. And, uh, well, Wilder, Wilder has a bunch of bites. little bites taken Aww, out of his legs. They're in love. And he was, 
And he was screaming. And the, <laughs> and he was screaming, and oh. the door popped open. He was screaming, "I love you." Yeah. Well, I was gonna say Callum would have heard that. Yeah. Like, what did I? Yeah. What did I witness? Like, was he screaming you... in pain? Or... No, no. No. Yes. <laughs> yes. But the, yes, the, that too. The big takeaway is that Wilder professed his love for Lolth, that he adores her, that and said he would be hers forever. Yes. Yeah. But the door's Cute. open. I'm going to still test with my sword first before I walk through it. <laughs> Nothing happens. Oh, great. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go for the door. Uh, Stumblefoot, Aileen, Orbog, and Gareth. The four of you, as you are walking through this city, not too far away, you hear the voice of, you hear the voice of a uh, wilder loudly professing his love to Lolf. Oh. Does Pooh not hear this? Hold oh, on, sorry. citizen. Too. Is it what? coming from a specific direction? It is. Why is or is it just all around? It it's it I it's can uh feel you all me. sorry. Uh it's coming from a specific direction. Then Stumblefoot will start running in that direction. Why is Wilder professing his love for somebody named Law? Uh, because he's an idiot. Let's go. <laughs> <we're running. laughs> Yeah, I'm following. I'm shorter than everybody else. Can I, I get got some you. help? I got you. Hey, pick oh. you up. <laughs> just roll her. Roll her. I just kind of grab I her. As I love how attack. she's screaming for help, but she has the potential to move the fastest out of anybody. It, you didn't say there was shadows. You're in hell. We're in fire hell. So it's really bright because there's fire. <laughs> what did you just say, Callum? I said we're in fire, fire hell. hell. I didn't oh. say what you thought I said. <laughs> it cut out at a really bad The microphone cut out a little bit, and it, there was a lot of syllabic emphasis on the F. I we thought can, you said something. Yeah. I think I will, <laughs> because <I> that... <laughs> Whew. Okay. I was so confused why you were like, what did you say? I was like, it's a fire house. I, I heard it. I heard it. Welcome to Playing Games with Strangers, the D&D podcast without <laughs> any uh, profanity until, no. until you invite Squid on. <laughs> I think you need to go to... Is, is, our, is, our, uh, is, is, is our door locked? Um, oh my gosh. The cell door is, is this, unlocked. Is this fire door locked? <laughs> oh, you hey. mean the door, to the, hey. the door to the room you're in? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't want to just sit here and twiddle my thumbs. So, got places. You gonna check it? No, I'm just gonna listen real hard. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna mock the DM that has the power. I to already kill you at any asked moment. if I heard anything, and you said no. You're in a building, so yeah, I'm gonna open the door. <laughs> she only okay. had cheese and you crackers. You open the door. <laughs> I, li- I, you open I the do- only had cheese and crackers today. <laughs> I was upset. Someone's a little bit hangry. Um. <laughs> Psychoglycemic much? <laughs> Listen, I asked this man if I heard anything, and he went, "No, you're in a building because you can't hear in a building." <laughs> it's true. I've tried before. <laughs> That's true. I, I've I've tried to. So yes, I want to see if the door is unlocked. <laughs> okay, you open the door and you look out upon what is essentially a backyard in hell. Uh, Quaint. You are basically you are basically being held inside a infernal garden shed. Well, I mean, they could have at least given us a nice room. Are they in Carrick's she shed? <laughs> <laughs> is there like... It's a wonder that we have any serious <laughs> moments on this Is there show. like a house attached to this garden area? Uh, there. As you look behind you, yes, there is a very large house. Does it look important? It looks like a large house. Yeah, I'm just going to walk up to it. Uh, as you start walking up to it from your periphery, you see a group of five individuals running towards you. The exact opposite of what I wanted. Oh, Callum! Callum! Four, I'm being carried. Yes. Callum! Callum! We're here! Wilder, Callum. can you do me a favor? What? Hey, Wilder. Could you kill me? No. 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 We should can probably... Can Pooh hear us inside the building? I mean, can Callum? He's not inside I'm the outside building. I'm outside now, so I can hear everything. Um, um we should probably... Not be here with them. Okay. Oh. So let's 
go somewhere else? Do we do we see them? Are we the individuals that yes, yeah, yes, sees? that was that oh. was the implied And like I assume we're not like guys... face to face yet, so Well pretty close. But I <laughs> see you I'm running in our you. direction. I'm booking, so. <laughs> you, I'm booking it towards you. Uh, so do you have a but do we just where do we go? I don't know. I don't know. This I don't know. Suddenly, Callum, you start to feel a wind picking up. Oh, we go I'm somewhere really else. booking it. And the smell of goat is coming off at Callum pretty thick now, Wilder. Uh, you're starting to smell again, Callum. Uh, I can't help that. And you hear the goats start screaming again, Callum. I'm going to look around. And as you look around, you suddenly feel the unmistakable sensation of getting kicked in, double kicked in the gut by oh. the back ho- hooves of a goat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to double forward. Yeah, Wilder and rush over and check on him. A little pat on the back. <laughs> you take nine points of bludgeoning damage from the kick. Can't absorb that element. Do I see anything else that might have, you know, preceded this goat incursion? Nope. Are you okay? No, no, I can't. No, you, you look like you got hit pretty hard, but nothing hit you. Well, Callum, something did. Callum, yeah. Oh, why are you bent over like that? Oh, no, it's fine. Guess. Look, Ooh. someone's here to say yeah. hello. Can... I sit down. It mean, can you? <coughs> Thank I sit you. down. I thought you. Okay. Uh, weren't you staying outside with Christopher, where it was safe, and not? You know, we're the person that once you lives. She got better. Well, nobody told me that. Aliens as good as following instructions as you Yeah, I know, lad. but I mean... No one ever told me I'm that. pretty sure that you were aware that Zeus was in here at one point. <laughs> that was over a month ago. I don't remember. You do believe it was a few hours ago. <laughs> so, but not, it's fine. Not to, be, uh, not to ruin the, the this party, but... We don't have time for this. Can we get where, wherever we're going? If anybody knows where we're going, does anybody have a sixth sense? Un- well, you were the ones who came in here. Well, where were you going? We were, yeah, the place we were going was where you were going to get you. So now we need to find a way back home. Uh, Mr. DM, how far is the tower that has the my parents' earrings? Earrings? My parental ear, my parental earrings. Earrings. You don't she said that? to wear them as as earrings. Oh, yeah, they're, they're jewels. They're crystals. The, they're crystals. The, the soul stones. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just just so we're just so we're clear, soul stones are probably about eighteen inches tall. Big earrings. So, it's uh, fine. <laughs> no one said that when I yeah. made the joke yeah. at first. So I've just been going with the they're little. Wilder's been carrying no. around one in his jacket. My ears. Yeah. I didn't know they looked like the balls <laughs> in front of Target. <laughs> Yeah, I blame John. Yeah, everybody else does. So, Why not? So, but how? I, I don't blame how, John. I blame Canada. I blame Ohio. Oh, Canada. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> how far away are we from that tower? Um, it seems to be in the middle of the city. We should probably uh, not all be here at once. Would be probably best. And um, we should probably not. Wait, any of us be here? Aileen, are you saying that the soul stones that you saw were in the Iron Tower? They're just up ahead. Yeah, about that. I come. I will. I will. Way. Way. Aileen, but you know, Zeos is there. Yeah. Ooh, don't say. Okay. <laughs> oh, but Ooh, were we were we not supposed to say Zeos or Carrick? Oh, well, I, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I don't. Well, it's not. Uh, don't worry about it. Um, we should not. With you, be here. You shouldn't well, be it's, here. So it's Carrick. <laughs> Orbog, stop with that. <laughs> Orbog, stop saying his name. I'm not trying to say any of those names right now. You probably shouldn't even say you are hurting cow. <laughs> <laughs> We probably shouldn't even say what what whatever his wife's name is. You have a wife? No, not me. A uh, wilder. Uh, in- what? Who would marry you? <laughs> well, that's you know she's pretty cool. I don't know that I'd say. Wilder's gonna turn and walk away from Aileen. 
and everybody else. <laughs> just. But is a- Aileen? Uh, you... Nobody saw that coming. Is the way that Aileen got <laughs> killed. You probably shouldn't be here, Aileen, unless you want to be given to Zeus, which was kind of the whole thing we've been trying to avoid. <sighs> okay, none of us <laughs> should be here. Yeah, well, you know, I've already said his name a couple times, and was it's don't worry about it. Um, so maybe if we all look, all I know is that my parents' souls are that way. I'm pretty sure Christopher's soul is that way. I'm sure mine is, is too, but I wouldn't, you know, think it's probably best to walk in all together and say, hello, here we all are. I'm not saying we have to walk in and announce that we are here. It is not a See, Mardi Gras See, here's parade. the thing, though, that I announced myself when I got here. So by being by me, you've kind of announced yourselves. So wait, you wouldn't. So what I'm hearing is we need to go drop you off at that door, and then we can go get my parents. I don't no. care. I'm just going now. You guys can talk all you want. That's fine. I, where well, are you? Which way is Wilder where going? Are you going, Wilder? <laughs> What what direction? He just he just turned around from. So I would assume he's basically going the same way that Aileen and everybody else were headed. If they were like walking toward each other, Wilder just turned around and just headed back behind himself. What? So you're just randomly walking, yeah. off no particular yeah, direction at this point. Like I I don't have a defined wandering off in the middle of hell. Uh, Probably not. He's going on a walk about it. Don't worry you know, about it. <laughs> you know, given the current state of things. And the fact that this particular plane is supposed to be for devils only, and we've been seeing demons about, if anyone is safe here, it's probably Wilder since he's married to a demon. She could very well just pop in at any given moment. We might just get the um, distinct pleasure of meeting Loth face to face ourselves. He's married which to doesn't a demon. thrill me in particular. Yes. Maybe you could leave. As Stumblefoot. Wilder, why was I I'd not invited to, leave. to your That's wedding? That's what I asked. But I don't know where a doorway back to our plane is. We all came, but we came through it. That was we came through it in the hallway, and I left you there. And I figured you'd Good. all wait there Good. and stay. Uh, and now aliens here, which is the opposite of what we needed. Aye, mm-hmm. that's true. However, um, I had a feeling that she was going to follow us anyway. Yeah, but you know so- what. It's better that she's but, with all of us than just wandering you know about what? on she's, her own. You know, she's about this big. You could pick her up and keep her at the door. No offense, Aileen. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Speaking of picking up people. I I go over towards Wilder um, and I try to stop him from, from going further. Wilder, we should probably all stick together. I think we're going to get out of here. We need to come up with a plan, and we need to do it now. Instead of just standing here in the middle of a city, oh, in the or, middle of hell, arguing with each or other. we should leave and then come up with a plan. Was, where are we going to go? Out, out of hell? Aye, and how do you propose we the do door? that? When we went through the door and turned around, the door was gone. There I were two doors we when you turned around. Through it Actually, the way we yeah. came. There were two. The door was still there. There was two of them. They didn't disappear. Oh, that's right, there was. No. I forgot about They that. multiply, they didn't subtract. <laughs> and who's but good at math well, now? <laughs> then let's go. Let's go. Let's all go. Let's all go. Right now. Let's all just go. Well, if we do that, we can go eat dinner with Christopher. He has some good food. Wilder, I had him make a peanut butter pie, but I didn't know about your wife. What does she like to eat? Probably so, mites. People. So while Stumblefoot was saying what not- he did about Lulf. Uh, Wilder had started to come back. Um, you know what, Aileen? It's complicated. Um, way more complicated okay. than I'm ready to go into. I appreciate the pie. I- I'm glad you thought of us. Gareth thought we were married. Um, so. What? Oh yeah, that's also. So here's I think. the deal. We do need a plan. I would. I was. I was teasing you earlier. You are a lovely I individual. Mean- I'm sure anyone anyone would love to marry you. <laughs> here's the situation. I'm all for rescuing people's souls if we can. However, I didn't know if we can even get to that tower. Well, let's let's get out of hell. We'll go eat dinner with Christopher, and then we'll come back and get the souls. We'll have a plan. My love, we'll do this smartly. Your dwarven friend had such like a, a great, great idea, though. Eh, what was that? I should pay you a visit. You and all your friends. I think so. Just a minute. 
Um, so, Aileen, uh, funny that you would want to meet my wife. Uh, Stumblefoot, um, get yourself another pair of pants, good sir. Uh, she, uh, she said, uh, she's coming for a visit. Uh, well, then it's a good thing I wore me brown pants. You have been listening to the Playing Games with Strangers podcast with the voices of John Haryu, Catherine Serwinski, Dave Clements, J.S. Earls, Celeste Mora, Josiah Crandall, Eric Campagno, and Steve MacDonald. The theme music was written and performed by Steve Arthur, used with permission. Find more of his music on Facebook or wherever you purchase music digitally. Please review this podcast wherever you download it from to help other podcasters find our podcast and join our community. And once again, thank you for listening.